Ian, this is going to be a hard one to cover in just a few minutes. Such uh, an amazing solution here on White House's uh, stand at Southern Manufacturing. Firstly, tell us about this brother machine that's here, this MX. Yeah, we've got the MX 140X2. Um, it's equipped with a 16K spindle, big plus. Um, and we've also got turning capabilities on the, um, on the truck spindle, which is 2000 RPM. Uh, we've got high pressure coolant on there with 22 tools. Uh, Brother machines, they're so fast. That's their main aim, isn't it? To reduce um, any downtime. Yeah, with Brother, the, their main aim is to keep the cycle time as short as possible with the tool changes and moving into positions. We've got 60 meter rapids, uh, tool change forms, 16K spindle down to zero, back up to 16K in less than 1.2 seconds. So you've got full five axis machining here, but you've also got this, this turning function. Are you finding that is uh, appealing to uh, engineers? Yeah, definitely. It offers a full solution for their parts, so if they've got to be milled and turned, we can actually put this on the on the machine and get a part off complete. Okay, so that, that's the first bit. The second bit here is this uh, this Fidio. It's called the Fidio, correct? Yeah, that's correct, yes. Yeah, it's a Fidio um, robot system um, powered by ABB. So what, what does this actually do? I mean, obviously, we've got these castings on here. I'm assuming it puts them in and takes them out. Is it as simple as that? Um, well, it's not as simple as that. We basically we put the yeah we put the castings on the belt. Um, there's a vision system in there. It will line the part up, recognise the feature. The grip arm will come in. It will pick the part up and it will load it into the chuck. If, while it's loading it into the chuck, it will make sure it will blow it down first and then load the part in and also obviously take the part out of the chuck as well. Uh, and you've got a hydraulic fixturing in there as well. Yeah, there's hydraulic fixturing in there. We've got a probing system as well with the uh, with the machine. So if you've got a, a tight feature on there or a tight bore, it can probe that up if it's incorrect. There is a, um, a shoot for um, incorrect parts, but it will go down there, so it will separate the good parts from the bad. So the top conveyor is where you're putting the parts on, and the bottom conveyor is where the finished components come out. What about the orientation? Uh, how bulletproof is it for, from an operator putting them in the wrong place? Um, it is quite um, reasonable. You've, you've got um, this is set up to a 30 degree um, either way for, to get the part in the uh, orientation, but we can open that right up. And is there any opportunity to have an accident? Um, like any machine, down to operator error, possibly, but on this one it is quite self-sufficient, so... Is there fail-safes if you do put it uh, in an incorrect position, will it, will it just shut down? Yeah, there's a fail-safe, what it will do, it will just reject the part out, it will say, no, we can't run in the machine, we'll just stop. Uh, the integration between the Fidio and the machine, I mean, we're seeing it here on this, this five-axis uh, with turning function machine, is it able to be integrated to your other brother machines too? Yeah, it's, um, you can put it onto any of the brothers here on the um, on the single table ones and the pallet systems. It's all integratable to every machine. And is it difficult to get to grips with? If I've never used automation like this before, you know, would I find it difficult to pick it up? No, not at all. It's a fairly user-friendly system. Um, it's a photogenic system in there, so we've got the camera in there. So you just line up off three features off your um, off your camera system. So it's fairly fairly simple to use.